All right guys, so in my last video, I talked about eight different food ingredients that are found in the US that are commonly banned in Europe. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about four different food ingredients that are banned in the US, but are allowed in Poland. Now, some of these foods aren't really grown or found or created in Poland, but most of them you can find in Poland and I've seen most of these in grocery stores as well. So without further ado guys, let's just get started on this list. It was really difficult to find because I guess because of the EU regulations on their food, you know, are quite safe in creation of different foods where it seems like in the US they let a lot of chemicals you know slide under the radar and are completely safe so anyways guys without further ado let's just get started all right so the first one on this list is unpasteurized milk the US has found this to contain you know bacteria such as E. coli and even salmonella so pasteurized milk involves a process which basically just heats up the milk to kill any pathogens and or bacteria which will then make the milk you know safer to drink so not only is this found to be safer but it also increases the shelf life so I think in in general most of the milk in Poland is pasteurized but I know there is some that is unpasteurized in Poland so what I found out there is that there's a community out there for raw milk you know stating that it has a better flavor it's better for you it's better for your immune system etc etc and even nutrition as well but the medical community has basically said that there's still some issues and you know there's some threats of danger with drinking this milk so it just could pose a threat basically and the community has also said with scientific studies that there isn't any benefit to drinking it and because of this any cheese that's aged less than 60 days is banned entirely in the US. And what I can tell as well is that, you know, cheese connoisseurs will say that raw milk cheese is the best cheese that they can find out there, whereas, you know, pasteurized cheese is just not even good in comparison. And yes, I just want to point out that, you know, this whole process is completely ironic because, you know, our cows here are just pumped with antibiotics such as RBGH, which I talked about in my previous video, and, you know, which causes all these different issues in cows and humans and also affects the taste as well so yes I know you know most of these are gonna be really ironic and that's just the way it is you know I'm just here trying to be unbiased as possible but you know it's just really ironic when you see that all right so the next one is gonna be kinder surprise eggs so yes I know the origins of this company are in Germany more specifically in Frankfurt but apparently it was sold to a bunch of different Mediterranean countries so I'm not even sure the exact owners of it right now there might just be different owners in different countries which I'm pretty sure that's how it is and I would also like to add as well that we do have kinder eggs here in the US but we don't have the surprise ones now the surprise ones contain a little toy on the inside that basically you kind of have to eat the chocolate in order to get to the toy and yeah so any of that stuff with like choking hazards are just completely banned in the US because of that reason this could pose a threat where you know a kid is eating on it and then just decides to eat the entire toy and then chokes and dies and then you know tries to sue the company for millions and billions of dollars and then you know wins the lawsuit I'm honestly sure that kinder is pretty happy with this because there would definitely be a lawsuit on their hands if they didn't. All right, so the third one is sassafras. So the FDA, also known as the Food and Drug Administration here in the US, has prohibited the use of any sassafras products such as sassafras oil, saffron oil, as well as sassafras bark as flavorings or in any food product here in the US. So sassafras was actually how root beer was made. And I remember going in the woods here, you know, where I live and, you know, just going to a sassafras tree and opening up the bark and it smells exactly like root beer. It smells so good. Or I guess root beer smells like sassafras. But anyways, it was banned in 1977 because it's found to be carcinogenic and it's linked with cancer in rats. So the interesting thing about this is that the amount of sassafras to cause cancer is still unknown. So I know this is really ironic because there's lots of food products and additives and ingredients that are known to cause cancer that are still legal in the US. But yeah, I guess it's just banned because some rats got cancer. And yeah, I mean, like I said, I couldn't find the exact amount out there and they don't even state it anywhere. All right, so the last one on my list may come to a big surprise to a lot of people, but that is black currant, and it was actually once popular in the 1900s. And it was actually banned in the US because it threatened the timber industry. See, they actually thought that the roots in the plant itself helped spread a fungus, which also destroyed many other plants. And the federal ban was actually moved to jurisdictions of individual states in 1956. And in New York in 2003, this ban was lifted. And as a result, there's been somewhat of a comeback as well as in Connecticut and in Vermont. And and even Oregon, but there is still bans in Maine, New Hampshire, Virginia, Ohio, and Massachusetts. So I actually had no clue what this was whenever I went over to Poland. Whenever I heard about it and I saw like an ice cream logo of this, like I was just thinking, oh, that's berries and it's like, you know, some type of fancy name, you know, for a berry type of ice cream or something like that. And when I talked to my girlfriend about this, she said, no, it's like a specific berry and a specific fruit here. And I was actually really surprised by this. Like I've never even heard of it in the US at all. And honestly, I don't think many Americans have heard of 
of it at all. So, and actually, I have still yet to try it, so hopefully I will the next time I am in Poland. And here's a bonus list of some other foods that are banned in the US. Haggis, which is a dish containing sheep heart, liver, and lungs with spices. So why is it banned? Well, the U.S. has stated that during the butchering process, there's worries of intestines or other organs being punctured. During the same time, the lung is being extracted. Another one is absinthe because of its reputation as a hallucinogen. Another one is Cadbury chocolate or chocolate de Cadbury. So anyways, guys, that's all I got for this list. And yeah, there's really not that many because of the EU regulations that are already on most of the products. But these were some of the ones that I found that are in Poland that are definitely banned in the US. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you learned something new or want to let me know something, just comment down below and I will get back to you. And if you want to check out American to Polish related content, then you can just check out some of the other videos on my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Dziękuję i do widzenia.